Hi folks, it's Diesel Johnny Boy here. Got a little interesting bit of apparatus here to show, show you guys. This is what is commonly referred to as an Archimedes screw. So it's been attributed to um, the famous inventor Archimedes who lived in Syracuse. But I believe that this was probably invented by someone else or who knows but it predated him anyway I believe so but he's the first guy I think that put it pen to paper or kind of did illustrations of this device so basically so it's, a, it's an early form of water pump really so basically what you've got inside a tube is a screw imagine like an ordinary wood screw but it has much wider blades on it and it will actually convey water up the tube. So you've got like a spiral, like the screw thread. It can imagine it's continuous. Like a screw thread is continuous, going round and round and round like a spiral. So this is exactly like that, but they're wider spaced. And they will carry the water up. And you can carry water up quite high distances. So it was a great device. Originally they'd have been cast in bronze and you'd have someone rotating it at the top so you'd have the the screw that's within a tube but they like a wooden tube maybe with the brass cast or bronze actually probably would have been bronze actually in the early days a bronze cast screw that would carry the water up when it rotates the water will be drawn up along through the spiral um, and it would have been turned by hand or possibly some sort of clever mechanism with them animal powered potentially so um yeah that, that i find these very interesting uh, i guess most of you would have heard of the hanging gardens of babylon which are one of the seventh wonders of the world i mean there's no proof that, that they actually existed but there is some um, there is some sort of historical references to these things going back maybe three and a half thousand years Nebu king nebuchadnezzar allegedly constructed the Hanging Gardens of Babylon for his wife, Queen Amites, I think her name was, because she missed the lush forests of her homeland, which may have been in Africa potentially, I suppose. But it's supposed to have been the Hanging Gardens of Babylon, uh, well, probably somewhere like in maybe Syria or Iraq, in that region, that around by the Euphrates. But there's no archaeological evidence that it actually existed, but and people wondered, well, what were the Hanging Gardens of Babylon? I've got like a, let's have a look on, on my iPad. I've got a, a picture of what someone thinks they might have looked like. So basically, look, you've got a, it's almost like a pyramid of terraces. So low down here and they get slightly smaller and smaller until you get to the very top. But how would you get water up to these terraces to keep them nice and lush? Well, people have sort of theorised that it would have been maybe these Archimedes screws. So you'd have had the water source down here somewhere, maybe brought in with an aqueduct or a viaduct or something like that, bringing the water in, aqueduct or maybe that would bring the water in, maybe um, diverted from a river like a canal, bringing the water in. Then you'd have a series of giant Archimedes screws. So one would be there, one, one at the bottom would bring water up to the top terrace, then the water would flow around or you could get access to the water. Then a trough would then, you'd have another Archimedes screw there and that would take you up to the next terrace and so on and so forth till you got to the very top. So these, these Archimedes screws would have been turned by probably slaves, I'd imagine, in those days. So you'd have a bit of a thankless task rotating these blooming Archimedes screws for, for keeping a constant flow of water. I mean, maybe they had just kept filling troughs up and then people had to keep watering all the plants because this would have been out somewhere in somewhere relatively arid. Or maybe it wasn't so arid in 3,000 years ago, who knows. But that is what the Hanging Gardens of Babylon may well have looked like. But as I said, there's no evidence that they ever existed. But the Archimedes screw would have been a great device for getting the water up to the various terraces. So let's see it working. This little model, actually, I bought this in a charity shop for £2.50. It's quite a neat little, this is a neat little one. This is a motorised one. So as I say, if you can see just in there, 
the screw mechanism. This is driven by like a little pinion gear. You can just see that. And this is powered by an electric motor. So I'm going to turn it on now. And then I'll turn it on. You can see it whizzing around. So that's the water source down there. That'll be your, your spring. And then the water's drawn up through there. And you can see it, you can see it coming out there. Can you see that? And then the water's trickling back down, but the water could then, in your hanging gardens of Babel, that would be channeled onto your first terrace. Or you've got someone with watering cans collecting the water. And then you'd have another Archimedes screw, and so on and so forth. So that is it, that's basically the Archimedes screw. Draws the water up, and then deposits it wherever you want it. Very clever device, actually. I mean, they're still used nowadays. They, can, they use them in, for moving grain around and, and all sorts of things. So it's still, a, still very much in use, the Archimedes screw system. That's about it for this video then. Hope you find that interesting and uh, I'll catch you guys later. Over and out.